violin. Hello everybody, welcome here, welcome here, welcome here. Hello everybody, welcome here, how are you today? Today it is time to learn about a new instrument, one of my favorites. Its sound is very full, bright, vibrant, pure, almost supernatural. Can you guess? The violin. Now let me tell you a story about the violin. The violin is a string instrument which has four strings and it's played with a bow. The strings are usually tuned to the notes G, D, A and E. It is held between the left collarbone near the shoulder and the chin. Different notes are made by fingering or pressing on the strings with the left hand while bowing with the right. The first violin makers may possibly have borrowed ideas from three types of bowed instruments. The Rebec, the Renaissance Fiddle and Lira da Braccio. The violin began as a three-stringed instrument. In 1555, a fourth string was added by the Italian violin maker Andrea Amati. His student, Antonio Stradivari, brought the art of violin making to its height. Stradivari's instruments are regarded as the finest stringed instruments ever built. The violin is the smallest and highest pitched string instrument typically used in Western music. A person who plays the violin is called a violinist. A person who makes or repairs violins is called a luthier. The violin is important in European and Arabian music. No other instrument has played such an important part in Europe. The modern violin is about 400 years old. Similar string instruments have been around for almost 1000 years. By the time the modern orchestras started to form in the 17th century, the violin was nearly fully developed. It became the most important orchestral instrument. In fact, nearly half of the instruments in the orchestra is made up of violins, which are divided in two parts, first violins and second violins. Nearly every composer wrote for the violin, whether as a solo instrument, in chamber music, in orchestral music, folk music, and even in jazz. A violin is made of many pieces of wood that are chosen to enhance the performance of the instrument. The top is made of spruce and the back and ribs are made of maple. The neck is made of maple and ebony, the preferred wood for the fingerboard because of its hardness and beauty. All of these parts are carefully carved and then glued together with a special glue. After the body of the violin is assembled and varnished, the four strings, bridge, tailpiece and various smaller pieces are added. Players can choose to include a chin rest. It takes years of practice to become a good violinist. A beginner will start with pieces and or exercises that do not require precise or complicated technique in the right or left hand. The violinist has to learn to put the fingers in exactly right places so that the music is in tune. This is called intonation. On the right side we can see two pictures. 
The first one is an exercise for proper violin holding. And on the second one, we can see that there are added stickers. Sometimes they're placed on the fingerboard until the student memorizes the fingering. Thank you all for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.